here at Benson Speed Gems today talking about this newest kit we just came out with. We've been working on this one for a really long time. Um, the way they designed Ford motors, this was a really tough one to do. This one and the small block are going to be the same style of the de same design. Uh, we haven't come out with a small block to uh, 6R80 yet, but we're going to. It'll be a couple of months. Um, I've actually started working on this 10 years ago and I just stopped because there were so many um, it seemed like insurmountable problems over on the right side of the motor uh, the small blocks in the 460s and the 429s all moved their starter location from where Ford had them for years and years and years you know like the the 223 six cylinder the Y block the FE they all located the starter in believe it or not the same spot that the modular starters located in so then when they came out with the small block and the uh, 429 slash 460, they moved the starter down uh, more to a, like a GM location. So it, it, totally different setup and, and that's why uh, you see uh, people with kits that you have to grind the starter or grind the block or grind the case of the transmission. Well, we finally thought it through and we came up with a kit that um, there's no grinding anywhere. You can use a stock 460 flex plate, ring gear, and uh, I'll say stock starter, but it's a stock uh, starter as in an aftermarket power master. This is basically the adapter plate. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of pushback on, well, why does it have to be so thick? Well, it has to be so thick because the starter would run into the case and you'd have to do like another place came out with kind of a hokey kit. And you got to do a bunch of grinding on everything and there's no grinding involved here at all it's a really simple install very few tools needed to even put it on and <clears throat> the way we have it cut and the way the uh, 6r80 bell housing is the profile isn't much different than what a c6 would look like on the back of a 460. it's uh pretty close so it doesn't even though it's a thick adapter plate uh, because it's stepped down and then the smaller case it really doesn't take up much more room than if you're just putting a stock C6 in. So that's the piece right there that we're going to be putting on. And I've got my little uh, 500 plus cubic inch 460 here to demonstrate it on. We're going to start with uh, our design of the starter location plate. Okay, after you get the flex or the uh, starter alignment plate on, uh, you're going to use your stock uh, 429, 460 flex plate just because if you guys are into these motors, you know they came both internal and externally balanced, and we don't want to have to be guessing as to what you have, even if you think you know. It just goes on top of the stock 164 tooth flex plate. We're at, we just happen to be using an SFI one that's neutral balanced, which means it's an older 460. I think they changed around 7980 they started becoming externally balanced and we didn't want to have to deal with that so it goes over the top of yours we're just using uh, and of course it's got an offset bolt hole and every time you go to put it on it's always the seventh time around That was a joke, by the way. Sometimes it's the 12th time around. Of course, I'm just zipping them on with a zip gun for the video. You guys are going to be torquing them, lock tightening them, etc. I wanted to point out just how few tools it takes in order to get this kit put on. This is it. That's all you need to put this kit on. Okay, from there, just putting the adapter plate on, and it uses all the uh, the stock 460 dowel pins, the stock 460 uh, bolt hole locations. We haven't, uh, we didn't have to get real creative on any of that. The 
this point, take up the, uh, you've got about an inch space in here that we have to uh, take up. So we have a spacer for the torque converter for the 6R80. And by the way, the 6R80 that's being used for this kit is the uh, uh, V8 style. There's somebody out there who's got a kit, it's kind of a hokey kit. It's, it uses the three liter, or not the three liter, but the, uh, the V6, uh, 6R80. We use the V8 one, so five liter, 5.4, uh, actually, I believe the 10R will fit too, but nobody's got a controller out for it. So when the 10R finally gets a controller, that will also fit this kit. And with slight modifications, we can use other um, other modular style transmissions, like the 5R110, the uh, uh, 4R100, uh, 4R70W. I think we can get uh, a bunch of other modular transmissions on here. We don't have one to the, ma the manual transmission yet, but we're working on it. We, have to, we have to make a custom flywheel to do that, but uh, we are working on it. <clears throat> All right, so this is meant for the uh, six stud or the four stud torque converter. Uh, I believe there's a, a six stud torque converter out there, but we don't have anything for that one yet. I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll do something for it. And at this point, if you don't have a, a deep 15 millimeter, go out and buy one. And as always, those would be Loctited and torqued. Okay, that's the uh, 6RE torque converter platform. Now the uh, Ford, all the Ford transmissions that would normally have fit this engine would have studs that you have to line up. This is gonna be more like um, uh, a GM where you just put the bolts through from the front so you don't have to be as careful with where your lineup you know I usually just put the uh, bolt hole at the bottom turn this one towards the bottom and you're close enough there where you can just uh, work it around with a screwdriver And then two of the bolts go from uh, the front of the adapter plate into the uh, transmission. So they're down here.
Okay, tranny's on. Um, we still got a few things to do underneath there, but uh, if you take a close look at it, the C6 comes out this far and then angles down severely to the same uh, angle that this does. The only thing that really changes the depth um, uh, of this is the 6R80 has really long bolt bosses here. That's, what, that's the only problem for coming back into some of the firewalls. I've got a solution for some of that. Um, if you take a counterbore tool to where this bolt is, and you, there's, there's almost uh, there's two and a quarter inches here of bolt boss you can work with. You take that counterbore tool, and you counterbore it back three-eighths of an inch, and this head will be totally inside of here. That'll give you almost a half inch more clearance in the back. But, uh, buddy, I didn't design this. Ford just likes the really long bolt bosses, so that's just the way that one is. But other than that, the, the depth of this uh, adapter plate hasn't really shown to be a big problem, except, you know, unless you're putting it into a, you know, a Thunderbolt or, you know, some older Mustang or something. I mean, you're going to, <laughs> no matter what you do, you're going to have uh, problems with those. Ford had problems with them. You know, to put these into the Mustangs, they took their uh, shock towers out. They did all kinds of things to get these and other things. So, you know, if, if, if you have problems getting it into your tunnel, we've done everything we can to get it to help you out, but uh, we're, we're not the only ones that... Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't design that tunnel. Okay. It's as simple as that for the uh, torque converter uh, bolts. Okay, uh, inspection cover now. Three bolts. Well, that's the inspection cover. Now it's a starter. That's uh, that's the starter we're using. Power Master XS. Just uh, buy it right from them, no modification whatsoever. We've kind of partnered up with uh, Power Master because they're an American company and uh, their stuff tends to work better. It's more consistent. They're not far away, <coughs> and the, uh, the you know the 460 starters have the one bolt that comes in from the back side, so we've uh, built our adapter to where you can get you can change this starter with the tranny in place. Since I actually work on a lot of cars, I try to make it so where it's uh, it's user friendly. And we even have this nifty little uh, cover plate here to make it look real finished. Gotta like that, huh? And there's one more uh, 5 16 bolt. Goes on this side just for the um, So 
you guys that have just watched this video, you saw how fast I put this thing together. If I hadn't been talking and screwing around, could have had it done in half the time. This is for as complex as the kit was to design, develop, make, it goes together really well. I mean, just really quick. Um, and it looks nice. It just, it just, it, that motor deserves a 6R80. I, I know this is gonna be a popular kit being that they're, Ford's still selling those, uh, those big motors as crate packages. And uh, you know, they buy all those stroker kits for it. I know that's a really popular motor. This is gonna be a, a, a good selling kit. And then within a couple months, we'll come out with one for the small block too that'll be similar, similar in design. So there you have it. If you got questions, give us a call. Um, I'll get some in, uh, installation instructions and some pictures up uh, shortly so you can see more of it. But uh, that pretty much says it all. Thanks for watching.